Hello folks, Tim here again with some more Marvel Strike Force. So today I would like to talk about farming. And when I say farming, I mean just your campaigns. Uh, your campaign farming is the one thing that you can control. So it's always good to go in and having uh, have, have a plan for that, right? Um, what you get out of supplies and orbs, you know, um, and events and stuff... You, you don't have control of that from the beginning. And what you open in orbs or get out of an event, that probably will change your farming strategy. But I feel like it's important to have at least a strategy, right? So when I made the new game account, I had a plan. I said, um, so I came into my old account, which is what I'm using for this video. And I said, you know, campaigns. We're, we're going to have to work on campaigns. You have to make sure that you're progressing your campaigns. So I decided to go campaign by campaign and decide what I was going to farm and how far I was going to farm it, right? So you start out with your heroes campaign and they'll give you the heroes to start with. And, um, you know, so you get through, you complete the campaign, you three star everything. And I said, well, I'm not interested in the Punisher. And for as much as I like Wakandans slash War Dogs, I'm not really interested in uh, farming Black Panther for now. So I said, okay, what's in, what's in Heroes 2? And I said, okay, so we definitely want Sinister Six characters because you're going to unlock Dr. Octopus in your first day or two. And he is going to carry you. So having the Sinister Six characters to go along with him is is freaking amazing and it's going to set you up for success so i said well we definitely want to farm mysterio right well how far do we want to take mysterio let's take him to five so we'll farm him to there and then we'll passively collect the rest of his stars through orbs and events and then I said, okay, so Gamora's next. Now, I personally think it's valuable to an account to get the Infinity Watch as early as you can because it's a great team. Uh, it, it's got great synergy. It, it's just, it's all around amazing. So I said, okay, so we're going to get Gamora, obviously. Well, how far do we want to take Gamora? Well, let's take Gamora to five stars and get the last two stars passively. And then we got to the final, and then I said, shocker. Bam! Another Sinister Six. He's another character that has the city tag. He's got the villain tag. He's got the spider villain tag. And, you know, part of Sinister Six. So I said, okay. So there's three characters we're going to farm. And you get a lot of energy every day. You get a lot of... In your first few days, you get more energy than... I mean, you could play five, six hours on your first day. All right, but then I went to the next one, and I said, okay. I said, so here we are. We're Heroes 3. Well, you know, eh, we don't really want Captain Sam. We don't really want Yandu, but we absolutely want Venom. So, okay, how far are we going to take Venom? He's part of a raid team and one of the better teams, the newer and better teams in the game. So we'll take him to six stars, and then we'll, we'll passively co collect the rest. You know, and then I believe it's at that point that you unlock villains. So I came in and I said, okay, in my villains, I love the Shang-Chi character. So we're going to farm him. We're not that interested in, in Juggernaut. And we're not that interested in Groot at, at this point. At least I wasn't. And I, I can't speak for you. Right? Build your favorite characters. It's a game. Have fun with it. Who cares if it's meta or if it's not? Like, shang Chi's not really meta, but I love the character in the game. You know, and then I said, okay. So I sat down, and then I said, okay. In 2, there's nobody we, we really want, but if we have extra energy, we'll take Kingpin. And then I looked at 3, and I said, Hela. Right? So Hela is going to become our main farm out of Villains 3. You know, and then I went back and I said, okay, so, you know, Heroes 4. Who do we want out of Heroes 4? We don't really want anybody. And then Heroes 5. We're not super anybody. If we have extra energy, let's grab Squirrel Girl. 
and I went down the line. So when, once you get to six, Captain America, now you want to take Captain America, he's part of like three teams. So of course we want to build him up to six stars. So my main target farms when I started, and, and this is pretty much in order once I hit this point, was Captain America. It was Venom. So every day, first target farm, Captain America. Next one, Venom. Next one, Hela. And I stopped Hela when she got to five stars. So those were my three targets for, I don't know, the first however long of the game. And then, like, when I had extra energy, you know, then I'd go back and I'd be like, okay, okay so we want the Sinister Six. So Shocker uh, and uh, Mysterio, they're next, followed by Gamora. So that's how I decided what I was going to farm was I just went through all the campaigns and I said once we hit this point, bam. Once we hit this point, bam. And, you know, there's a lot of characters in the campaign that are worth farming. So, you know, like, now we're farming She-Hulk, right? Now now we're farming, uh, we're farming Firestar. So, you know, Firestar is a, is a good character and for the team, so you want to farm her up to six. And then I just decided, I was like, okay, who, how many of these characters do I want to take up to six? And I said, okay, so Captain America, we want to go to six. Venom, we want to go to six. Firestar, we want to go to six. And uh, we want to get Carnage to six stars when we can farm him. And then I said, okay, who else do we want to farm? So we want to farm Psylocke because we're going to need her. So... I started farming Psylocke as soon as we could get her. You get a lot of energy a day. I mean, it, let, let's take a second here, right? So let's break out our calculator. You start the day with 150. You get, out of your power cores, you get four refreshes of 120, right? So 120 times four, that's 480. Then you get, you know, the initial 150. Oops, what did I say? 480, 150. And then you get uh, every, you know, five hours you get 80. So figure even if you do that time uh, three times a day, that's what, uh, 160 plus another 80. So you're looking at, you get about roughly 870 uh, campaign energy a day. That's a lot of farming, right? When you consider, uh, for example, so where we're at, you, you consider that it's 100 campaign energy f uh, for a 5x farm. So for that 100, you're getting five turns on this node. And I don't have the energy, or I would show you what I mean. Um, you know, and, and also in your campaigns, right, you're going to unlock the node for Spider-Man 2099. You're going to want to farm him. Dark Beast, same thing. Photon, Gwenpool, Cersei. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, Dagger, right? Uh, your Gamma members, so She-Hulk and uh, Brawn. And I'm pretty sure that at some point you can uh, campaign farm Doctor Strange Heartless. Right, and then, you know, Hela, like I already mentioned, who you get early, is, is a great villain. And then, I think eventually you get Darkhawk, I think, is in uh, the actual campaign. And Emma Frost, who now goes on, uh, you know, for your Cabal team. So, that's a lot of characters that you can farm. That's, that's a lot that you can get. But, you know, worry about your teams. And focus on specific characters just don't you know if you're never if you're never ever planning on using the punisher there's absolutely no reason to spend your energy because yes you get gear and yes you get training materials and yes you get xp but you're gonna get that everywhere along the way right so for my campaign farms, I was very focused. I came in with a list. I came in with how many stars I was going to get on them. And pretty much the order that I was going to farm them in. Now, with your, with your supply stores, right, 
there's two ways you can go about this. You can either just save up all your currency for orbs. Or, what am I doing? Or you could target to unlock characters. And then once you unlock those characters, you can go ahead and, um, you know, decide, hey, I'm going to just open orbs now. Right. So, you know, for example, you're going to get into your, your Blitz store, right? And blitzing, as I've said numerous times, you get out of it what you put into it. So there are certain characters that you absolutely want to unlock in Blitz. Why is my screen not moving? There we go. So you definitely want Rescue. And she's in here. So Rescue is, you know, 10 shards for 500. You definitely want to get Namor. You know, you definitely want to get, like, um, who else is in here? Deadpool's in here. You know, um, so those are characters you definitely want to unlock. So my suggestion would be you could target farm them until you unlock them. And, you know, there's only eight, I think, that I would I would target. So I wouldn't target Spider, Spider Slayer. Because he's he's um, he's the featured character in the orbs, but you know, getting Mockingbird unlocked, great. We 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 absolutely want that. She's part of um, the New Avengers, which is a team we're gonna need in many modes of the game. But you know, Sunfire, same thing. But I don't know that I would target him. I would just get him out of orbs because I'm not gonna use him for a while. He's part of a team that you're not gonna use. You may not use those uh, unlimited X-Men in, in six months. But, you know, characters that I would target first right out of the gate is Mockingbird and um, Rescue. And then once they were unlocked, I would just open orbs. And pretty much the same thing uh, with the Raid Store. Right. So for the Raid Store, if you're going to target right off the bat... You're looking for basically three, maybe five characters, right? Miss Marvel Hardlight, Craven the Hunter, um, Vulture, and Cyclops, and Icarus. But what I would do is I would, I would look at that list and say, okay, who's going to benefit me the most? So the top three that I would target would be Cyclops, Icarus, and Craven the Hunter. And then once I have unlocked those characters, switch to just opening orbs. That's it. Because every 10 orbs, you know, when you open the orbs 10 at a time, you're getting, uh, there's sometimes you're going to get a bonus out of it, right? You know, and then we can come to the arena. And the arena, the currency is hard to come by. So I would focus on just two characters, Ronin and Gambit. And honestly, I would focus on Gambit first. You want to get Gambit to your seven stars. He's going to help carry your account. And then Ronin you need because he's part of um, the new Avengers team. And they're going to get you unlocks of legendaries later down the road. For your war store, if you get into an alliance you're, and you're doing war, you're going to get the currency. Um, and, and, and war doesn't really have an orb to save up for. So you could target, you know, um, Carnage. Because he's part of, of, of the Hive Mind team and they're a raid team and they're really good. You know, Sylvie, Spider Man 2099, uh, let's see, uh, Ironheart Mark II, you got Dazzler, you got um, Absorbing Man, and <laughs> you have X23, who I think is a good character still. You know, um, and don't really worry about the Crucible store because it's going to be a while before you get there. But out of there, you mainly want to just focus on these three right here. Quicksilver, Nightcrawler, and Ghost Robbie. So for me, I want to unlock Ghost Robbie on my new account. So I'm actually spending 1400 a day, or 1500 a day of my Crucible credits. 750 for him and 750 for Robbie because I want a big Nightcrawler. You know, other than that, really... Um, you want to unlock 
the characters that you're going to need for teams. And you're partially going to think ahead for legendaries and apocalypse. It's not my place to tell you what to farm. It's not my place to be like, oh, you, you farm this guy, and then you farm this guy, and then you farm this guy. I guess the point of this video was um, to give you an idea of what I consider when I farm. Right, like on my free-to-play account, you've been watching the videos. We unlocked all of Extreme X-Men, and that team carries that account to the point where now we have to start thinking about another team to work on. But, you know, as you go through those videos, you'll see that I'm very, very systematic in, in how I did my farming. So it's really important that, you know, uh, take a look at what's available. Think about the teams you want to build. Everybody watches a ton of YouTube videos. Think about the things you want to build. Think about where you want to be in a year and say, hey, it's going to take me and it could take you a year to get to Apocalypse, right? Just because you hit level 70 in your first, what, 34, you know, 30 some odd days, you're not ready for Apocalypse yet. You've got months and months and months of work. So, you know, pick what you're going to focus on. For me, it's raid teams. So now I'm focused on building raid teams while still farming other stuff for the future. And your raid teams, you take your best raid team, you use it in the arena. You can use them to do your Cosmic Crucible. As if you're watching my videos, you can see all the different places that I use my Extreme X-Men. And all the different places that I use my Sinister St Six. And the different places that I use, like, my Hive Mind or Spire Society. Again, this is just my way of, of, of giving you some insight in how to set up what it is. Uh, that you want to farm so I, I hope this helps somebody I hope somebody uh, you know says God I, I didn't even think about it that way and and it helps them progress their account all right uh, I think that's uh, pretty much all I have for this video I'm gonna get out of here I hope you all have a great day slash night depending on when you watch the video uh, if you got any benefit if, if I've helped you in any way please like the video uh, the free to play series there's a playlist for it so you can watch that all the way back uh, to the beginning and you can see the journey that we've made with the free to play account uh, that we have currently going on and you know if you're into what's going on please feel free to subscribe all right guys take care I'm out of here